A potential climate change breakthrough this morning. At the UN's annual summit in Dubai, the Biden administration announced new rules to limit methane gas emissions in the U.S. And this morning, a coalition of major oil and gas companies has agreed to cut their methane emissions by 80 to 90 percent by the end of the decade. One expert calls it the biggest thing that will reduce temperatures on the planet in decades. Senior national and environmental correspondent Ben Tracy explains why methane is such a problem and shows us a powerful new tool designed to hold these companies accountable. Inside a hangar in Boulder, Colorado, this appears to be just another fancy private jet. You can always pull these graphs up. But it's actually filled with scientists on a mission to help save the planet. They take to the skies to hunt down an invisible gas, seen here with infrared cameras, which is rapidly heating up the atmosphere and fueling some of the worst impacts of climate change. What exactly is methane? Methane is a greenhouse gas. It is the second largest contributor to climate change, and it accounts for more than a quarter of the warming that we're experiencing today. Alyssa Akko is a senior climate scientist at the Environmental Defense Fund. She says methane emissions mainly come from leaks during fossil fuel production, from the digestive tracts of cows when they burp, and from rotting food in landfills. And here's why it matters. Methane is like carbon dioxide on steroids, 84 times more powerful at warming the planet. But unlike CO2, which can stay in the atmosphere for centuries, methane only lasts for about a decade. Reducing methane emissions is the single fastest opportunity we have to slow down the rate of warming. If we're able to cut these methane emissions, what impact would that have on, on warming? We have the technologies available to cut methane emissions globally in half over the next 10 years. And if we do that, then we can slow down the rate of global warming by 30 percent. Slowing warming could mean fewer destructive storms, wildfires and heat waves, and slower melting of the world's ice sheets, which is causing sea levels to rise. We need to know how much methane is being emitted from where and by whom. So you actually detect the methane through the, the bottom of the plane? Yeah, that's correct. And so that's where the plane comes plane. in. Up front is actually methane air itself. And if you look up, you can actually see two lenses. The scientists call it methane air. They've been flying it over what's known as the Permian Basin, more than 86,000 square miles in Texas, the largest oil field on the planet. Special sensors on the plane detect methane leaks from oil and gas facilities on the ground. According to the EDF, those industries account for about a quarter of all human-made methane emissions, and knowing where the leaks are can help in identifying the polluters and holding them responsible. A new $90 million satellite called MethaneSat is being built by the Environmental Defense Fund, in part with money from Amazon founder Jeff Bezos' Earth Fund. They plan to launch it next year atop a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Once in orbit, it will find and map methane leaks around the world 24 hours a day. This is the structure. Steve Stegg is CEO of Blue Canyon Technologies, which is building the satellite, including the solar panels that will act as its wings to power its flight. And so what we're seeing here, this is pretty much as big as it is, and then the solar arrays come out from there. That's exactly right. This is the size of it. The solar rays will extend out about uh, 10 to 12 feet on each side of the satellite. So this will absolutely be a game changer. Reducing planet warming yeah. emissions has been Alyssa Akko's life work since a trip to Greenland during college. I watched as ice was melting off of glaciers and just rushing out into the ocean. And she now has another, more personal reason to work even harder, a four-year-old daughter. And it really worries me what the climate will be like when she's my age. I look at my daughter every day and I just want the best for her. And a huge part of that is the world that we're leaving behind. A world we still have a chance to save. For CBS Saturday Morning, I'm Ben Tracy, Boulder, Colorado.